In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the text replacement feature on your iPhone or iPad to make your typing simpler and so much quicker. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now on this channel, I usually share tips about creating audio and video and I specialize in mobile creation, which is where this tip comes in because if you are entering text, whether it's on social media or creating music or video, typing can be a bit of a pain. The typing keyboard that we have here works okay, but the problem is that sometimes you wanna type the same things over and over again. So there's actually a very cool feature called text replacement that I'm going to show you here on the iPhone and iPad. Let's jump in and take a look. So to set up text replacement on your iPhone or iPad, what you need to do is tap on your settings icon here and then tap on general and then keyboard and then text replacement. And this will drop you into this. Now you may not have a bunch of stuff here, but you can see I've already set up a bunch of text replacement, which I'll show you, but I'm also gonna show you how to set up a brand new one so that you can get started. And to do that, what we need to do is tap on the plus button here in the top right corner. And what you'll see here is we now have phrase and shortcut. So phrase is the long text. That's what we want to be typed out when we enter the short cut text here. So this is super handy for long phrases that we want a quick and simple way to type. Let's set one up now and I'll show you what I mean. One thing I love using this feature for is email addresses and websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to painstakingly type in here http colon slash slash and then studio live today if I can spell it correctly uh, dot com and then I'm going to put slash garage band. So this is my garage band FAQ page. So that took a long time, right? That was kind of clunky. But what I can actually do is if I tap in the shortcut box here, if I want to be able to type that really fast, let's say this I wanted as S L T F. So you can see SLT was already Studio Live today. That's another shortcut I've already got in there. But if I put SLTF, it is going to populate out that with HTTP colon slash slash studiolivetoday.com slash garageband every time I do that. So now I'm going to tap on the save button in the top right corner and that is all there is to it. That's now saved amongst my collection of shortcuts here in the text replacement section in iOS. And you can see I've got a bunch of others in here. GB is GarageBand. DAW in lowercase, it uppercases that one. MIDI, it also uppercases that one here. My email address, Pete at studiolivetoday.com, I need to put that all the time and you might be the same with your email addresses. I just put PSLT and it auto populates all of that together. So there's a bunch of different things you can use this for and you can even use it for entire phrases that you might use a lot. And that's great for people like me that are in YouTube and in the comment section because if I wanna say, thanks for your comment, I appreciate your kind words, all things like that, I can set those up as pre-formatted things. And I'm still typing that out there, but I know if I want to say you're very welcome I can put YVW and boom it's going to put that in the comments there let's jump over now and show you how these work when we're actually typing so here we are, we are just in the notes app here in iOS. And again, the beauty part is that if you're using your iPhone and your iPad, it copies those across. So I've set up a lot of these on my iPhone and now they're here on my iPad. So let's test out the one that we just tried. So we're gonna type in SLTF and look at this down the bottom here. It actually includes that. So if I just tap on that one in the middle, it actually populates that out. But even better than that, if I, again, you need to take the shift key off like that because otherwise it'll be capitalized, but we can go S L T F hit space bar and it automatically knows that that's what I want to do. Now, what if you don't want to do that? So here's the thing. Sometimes I want to abbreviate GarageBand to actually GB. So if I came here and I typed in GB and hit space, it's going to make it GarageBand. But what if I want to type just GB? Well, I just type GB and then down the bottom here next to where it says GarageBand, I just need to tap on the GB button there and it's going to make it GB and then I can just continue typing on and be all good like that. The other thing, let's check that email address, PSLT spacebar. There you go. It puts that straight in there and you're good to go. And what about things? Here's a fun one. If I sometimes when I'm typing really quickly, instead of GarageBand, I will type HarageBand like this and look at that. 
it corrects it for me. So not only can you correct this for those long phrases that you don't want to type out and you can use little shortcuts for, but things that you spell incorrectly like me all the time, you can do that. Again, MIDI, we put it in lowercase, it does that. And of course, my absolute favorite Steinberg UR22 interface is really easy to type out. I put UR22 and it completes everything else for me. So that is it. It's a very cool feature. It's super powerful. You can see what you can do with this one and how much time it's going to save. I don't care who you are, you're going to be typing out a lot of stuff and this is going to make that job so much simpler. I hope you found this useful. Two more videos linked down below if you want to learn more about using your iPhone and iPad and I'll see you on the next one.